Upon detonation, a fireball as hot as the sun rapidly expands, reaching a radius of 950 meters. Anything trapped inside this fireball is instantly vaporized. In our simulation, the epicenter of the explosion is at Westminster. People within that radius won't even feel anything, because the nerve impulse transmission speed is slower. Within five kilometers of the epicenter, the blast radius. City of London, Camden Town, Kensington, Brixton. These areas will receive the most destruction. Buildings will be destroyed and debris will fill the streets, creating extremely dangerous conditions for everyone in the vicinity. Given the population density in central London, the initial death toll could exceed 250,000 people and around 600,000 injured. Within a radius of 10 kilometers, the radiation will cause third-degree burns. Within that radius, anything that can burn will catch fire. Gas stations, auto biles, power substations, gas infrastructure. Explosive facilities will explode and amplify the effect of the devastation over a huge area, including areas from Camden to Greenwich and Islington to Wandsworth. According to various estimates, further 450,000 people will die from burns, debris injuries, or radiation sickness, and over a million will be traumatized. Many of these injuries could prove fatal over the next days and weeks. Radiation sickness in particular will take lives days and weeks later. In time, about 100,000 more will be added to the death toll. Within an 18-kilometer radius of the blast, the shockwave will be enough to shatter windows, causing additional casualties to people who come to the windows when they see the nuclear blast. The shockwave will reach Hounslow, Edgware, and Enfield. Depending on the wind, the fallout could spread well beyond the immediate blast zone, potentially affecting areas up to 5 to 10 kilometers away, causing damage even in regions such as Essex or Surrey. The estimated casualties in the event of a 750 kiloton nuclear bomb exploding in London would be about 850,000 people dead and about 2 million injured. If the explosion were to occur on the ground rather than in the air, the fallout map would be greatly expanded, and the radioactive fallout could even reach Manchester, infecting people, land, and animals.